left school in 1975 and went straight fishing with my father. We also been out on the boat fishing since we could walk, so you sort of knew what to do, it was just a matter of, yeah, putting it into action with a bit of effort. <laughs> on the nature-rich shores of the westernmost point of Australia, a handful of fishermen quietly go about their fishing in the way their fathers and grandfathers taught them. Shark Bay's net fishermen are among the last commercial fishermen who fish using nets pulled by hand. Well, it depends on the tides and the weather. You just hop in your jet boat and go looking for fish <laughs> till you can find some. Using eyes honed by a lifetime at sea, they spot their fish, set nets and haul their catch by hand in shallow waters. If you've got enough, you come home. If you haven't, will you stay out for another day or two? Yeah. A lot of it depends on the tides and weather conditions, obviously, but tides are pretty crucial. There's no good tides are low. You know, you've got to know where to look when the tides are low, and it's something that only experience really, you can't textbook it. It's not, you can't go and read a book and say, well, I know I know how to fish. It's hard physical work and it's getting harder to make a living. These fishermen believe in keeping their fishing operation small and simple. It's better for maintaining fish stocks and for their lifestyle. For them, fishing is not so much a job, but a way of life. We're in the wrong game if we're, we want to become millionaires, but we've got a pretty good lifestyle, so we, we put a fair sort of a value on that. <laughs> Even early net fishermen remember their days at sea fondly. Yes, I enjoyed the fishing because I was young and fishing was just like playing. We used to run the net and enjoy fishing because it was now hard work. With rising costs and fish stocks not yet recovered from a marine heat wave in 2010, the younger generation has not yet followed in their father's footsteps. It may not be long before this style of fishing dies out. There's a couple that are interested because they want to come back for the lifestyle that they grew up with as kids too. But right at the minute I don't think it's still, let's hope we can build up the stocks a bit before they decide to come back. So I think most of them are better off where they are right at the minute.